guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you my crock pot chicken tacos recipe and it is literally the easiest thing ever. It's such an easy recipe. It is perfect for a weeknight meal because it's so simple and it can cook while you are out at work or school, whatever, during the day. And also a recipe like this is super versatile because you can just cook up the chicken and then people can top the tacos however they like. So it's kind of a guaranteed crowd pleaser which is always great, especially on a weeknight meal when you don't want to mess around and you just want to get something healthy and home cooked on the table without spending too much time. So for these crock pot chicken tacos, you only need four ingredients, which is fabulous. It's seriously so easy. So the very first ingredient, obviously, is going to be chicken. These are, these are like two large chicken breasts. You can also just use three like more normal size ones. I got these from Costco. They come in like a big pack. Next up, you will need one can of corn and then also some diced tomatoes. These are both store brand, but this is uh, just a store brand version of like Rotel, which is like tomatoes, green chilies, all chopped up. So you will need corn and Rotel, or the store brand version is just fine. And then the last and final ingredient is some taco seasoning. This is the old El Paso taco seasoning with 25% less sodium. You want to be really careful about like store-bought taco seasonings or anything, like any of those kind of seasonings you get in the packets like this because they are generally extremely high in sodium. Just this little packet alone has just over 1300 milligrams of sodium and that is the reduced sodium. So if you buy the regular one you can only imagine how high that is. So it's a lot of sodium, however, whenever I use these packets, I only use about a fourth. This tells you to use like the entire packet for like, I think it's 12 tacos, which is still a lot, but I mean, personally, I just don't think you need that much, um, and I just think it's way too much salt. You can make it yourself, you can find recipes for it on the internet. I have done that before, and it tastes amazing, and you can control how much salt is in it. However, you know, sometimes it's just easier to buy, you know, these packets because it's a lot faster. Um, it doesn't require having all these different spices in your spice cabinet, and it's just easier. Um, so I do buy these, but I just don't use the whole packet. I only use about a fourth. And then if you think about, you use a fourth, you use a fourth of this, but then obviously I'm not going to eat all of that chicken. I'm only going to eat a portion of it. So that makes it much more reasonable as far as the sodium content goes. So those are our four easy ingredients. Now let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make these tacos. So first things first, you wanna add the chicken to the crock pot. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple first step. Um, and also just make sure whenever you're working with raw chicken or raw meat in general, always wash your hands afterwards. And then next, we are just going to open up our little cans here, and then go ahead and add that corn in. Make sure to add the liquid in with it. This is super important. The chicken needs that extra liquid um, to cook in, or else it'll just like dry out and not work. So again, just pop those cans in there and make sure to add the liquid as well. And then the last and final step is just sticking in some of that taco seasoning. Again, I use about a fourth of a packet. It is up to you. You can also add in additional taco seasonings on top of this to add more flavor, but not necessarily more salt. And then once everything is done, you can just go ahead and close up that taco packet, tape it up so you can use it for another meal. So once you have dumped all the ingredients into the crock pot, go ahead and pop and lock that lid. Then you can go ahead and set the time. I will cook it for six hours on high or four hours on low. It's up to you. And then you're all set. Hey guys, so it has been about six hours or so since we put the chicken in, so it is just about ready to shred up and make some tacos. But before we jump into that, I just want to give you guys a quick tip about crock pot meals in general. They are so great for weeknight meals. It is so nice to come home after work or school, whatever it is, and just already have pretty much a meal prepared. Um, so what I like to do, like especially with these tacos, if I make them during the week, I'll put the chicken and the corn, the rotel and taco seasoning all in the ceramic pot the night before and then I will just store that in my fridge overnight and then when I'm like running out of the house on my way to work in the morning all I have to do is just take it out of the fridge stick it onto the little burner thing set the time and go so you don't even have to assemble anything in the morning it's super quick and then you come home and dinner is basically done so basically the crock pot rocks and it is super helpful if you're trying to make healthy meals during the week and you don't have a lot of time to spend on them so anyway without further ado let's check on this chicken. 
So you can start by unlocking that lid and taking that off and you will see the chicken is just kind of sitting in that liquid still. You're just gonna grab a wooden spoon and just start breaking the chicken up. Literally, it falls apart so easily, it's a joke. You don't even have to shred it with a fork or anything. It just basically shreds itself. So just keep working on that chicken. It only takes about a minute or two. And then once you get it all shredded up, it'll start to look like this. And if there's still a decent amount of liquid in there, don't worry, the chicken does soak most of it up. But if it is still a little bit too much for your liking, you can just leave the top off for about 20 minutes and it should soak it all up. Now it is time for the fun part where we actually get to decorate our shredded chicken tacos. Personally, I like to stick with avocado, some salsa, a little shredded lettuce, and some hot sauce. But there really are so many options. You can put some Mexican cheese on it, some guacamole, you could throw some bean salsa or squirt some lime juice on there. Um, you can also even use like some plain Greek yogurt as an alternative to sour cream. There really are so many options. It's such a versatile meal and it's seriously so easy. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. These tacos are literally so easy and they are so, so delicious. I mean, you can't go wrong with shredded chicken. It's just so good. And it's crazy that like it literally takes no work. Anyway, so again, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss any upcoming videos. And definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing healthy meals on my channel and would like to see more. So thank you guys so much for watching this video right now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!